Hello everyone, it's Misty with A Unique Treasure. That right there should tell you that I changed my name because the name was too long to give to people and as we're building websites and businesses with our product, um, this is a good time now in the beginning to change it. Uh, we're dropping off by MJ and we are doing singular A Unique Treasure. So that's gonna help us out in the long run. So I hope that that doesn't confuse too many people, but that is how we're going to be found on YouTube and Twitter and Pinterest and different places and different things in social media, Facebook too. But anyways, going forward, I have a little agenda for this video and I hope to keep going forward and making it as efficient as possible. Um, we are going to talk about uh, my fear in doing live videos and uh, tutorials instead of just showing you things I've made because I actually create as I go. I don't have things specifically around me to create things. I have to think as I go and look around and see what I want to use in the room. I am going to go ahead and try it though a couple times and see if y'all like it because I have gotten requests. That's why I'm even bringing it up to go ahead and decorate online. So I'm going to though now go ahead and show you, this is going in the mail tomorrow. This is a single signature being sent to Cheryl Rada. I'm hoping that's how you pronounce her name. Her and I are in a group and they are doing a single signature monthly swap and they are doing it by the month. So if there's a holiday, of course it's gonna be Valentine's, which is considered love, that kind of thing, or St. Patty's Day. Um, I did one with fairies and flowers. Uh, for a month but her and I did not get in on the first three months of this so I am going to this is my second one the first one was actually now that I'm thinking about it the first signature I did it's very not you know I was so unconfident I was so worried about mm -hmm. sending it to her I regretted signing up for it I had all this anxiety then I sent it to her and she was pleased as pie um, very encouraging and I know it wasn't my best work because I didn't even know what I was doing or had a clue um, and a lot was going on here with my health and my mom's health at the time and still is actually but I'm coping better with it so without you know holding all up any longer I want to show you that this is a signature now the, the thing is we're only supposed to include a certain amount of pages and we're not to decorate all them you're gonna see a lot of these decorated because I am just really getting into this now decorating journals instead of just doing straight ephemera so she's gonna be able to put her own flair on this of course and you'll see why so this is the first page and what I did was this I just took a paper and folded it over and I embellished I uh, ran one side through my vagabond Tim Holtz vagabond machine with an embossing folder on this side and I did it on this side. This side was first. It actually came out very bold like this side, but when I turned it over and did this side, it flattened out this side, which was perfectly fine. And again, I can't sew, sew this one in, so I'm sorry if it's sliding around. And then the inside cover is uh, Love. I actually did this a little crooked and I apologize for that, but it's gonna be good enough. And because I sewed it in, I should have glued it in first. I probably didn't do that. And then here is the belly band, and it's, um, oh, I put this magnet on here, which will go with it. It's a, a Living by Love magnet. Got this from Tuesday morning, uh, so because every time the book's moving around, it's folding this page over, so I wanted to hold this down. But this is a deli paper here, and then the rest of it is just extra journal paper, and this is glued on the top here. And I'm gonna put this back on because I don't want this paper to be folded and raggedy looking when it goes to her. And this is going up tomorrow. And then this is a, the, the theme of this book is love. That's why you've seen um, this love here, uh, living by love on here. I'm, I just didn't wanna like do a cupidy Valentine's one. So I kind of kept it like this. And then this is, uh, yes it is brick, but it's got pretty colors and it's got butterflies behind the scenes here. So I thought that was pretty. And then of course I love this paper. This is a little eclectic. I didn't want to go with a specific color and um, that kind of theme. So you'll see bright colors and dark colors throughout the signature. 
And this was actually something I messed up completely horribly. I was trying to do this real pretty envelope. Um, and for some reason, my brain would not take in the directions. So I picked up the scraps and I just glued this on. It is not an actual fold up folder. I just made it a, uh, sorry, envelope. I just made it a tuck. This is really cute. And here's the love thing. I kept journaling spots here, here. And then um, again, remember, she's going to embellish this. I really had a hard time not going full bore and filling up these pages and tons of stuff. I did this last night. This, you know, says together forever, love always, dreams come true, that kind of thing. And then this is uh, very pretty, simple, and very dramatic on this side. And this ticket says love. It's a golden ticket. Here is a tuck spot. It's driving me crazy that I can't, like, I'm not pulling things out again. Um, here is another tuck spot. This actually I just uh, stamped on this piece of fabric here, and I just didn't like the look. It was too plain. I like some things that are 3D or dimensional uh, raised here, so I did that. And here's more journal spaces. Again, you know, you're going to see a dramatic difference in colors here. And here is this tag. It's a tag and a tag. And I just put it here. This is some of the easy peasy layering I did on my other video. Check it out if you haven't seen that one. Uh, journal spot, unless she wants to, you know, fill this in. I left this here. I had an idea for it, but I said, Misty, you got to stop. She's supposed to be able to put her own flair on this. So I left this blank, left this blank. This is one of the, I wanted to show you this and point this out. This is a Wish, uh, a die cut from Wish. It costs like two bucks, one or two dollars. And um, the, you just make this side, make this side, and then the butterfly has a little slit in it. It already comes, you don't have to do it yourself. You can put this on the front of something so you keep it real dimensional. Um, this is just, I went ahead and uh, did the washi tape. And you have your tuck spot here. So you can put something in and out of here. And then this is not, it doesn't do anything. It's just there for looks. Ran some ribbon through here and each side has a bow. Uh, my mom, I stole this from her stash, smell the flowers. She did this little thing here and I just stuck it on there and it filled it in very nicely. I should have glued it and you could have had more tuck box, but you know, sometimes I'm looking at tuck spots in some journals and I'm like, okay, well we can say it's a tuck spot, but I really wouldn't probably shove anything in and out of here unless it's a secret note. Um, more easy peasy layering from that video, little tiny, you know, just throwing in some little tiny tags here, tuck spot. Threw this together, I love this. I did this on camera actually and uh, again, had a, uh, it shut off my, because my, phone is too full so it's shutting off during my videos I found out so I try to empty out some of my uh, stuff yesterday and so hopefully this video will go through um, I love this this is from uh, Melody's uh, digital kit that's out right now for three dollars and fifty cents on her Melody made site and uh, this was actually just something I cut out um, and used the bird for something else and then I just found this in the scrap box and I just stuck it on here and made this so it would make the bird stand out. This is a regular tag. Again, we're going, you know, different, um, different color scheme as you see, you know, throughout it, you know, starting off here, going to this, and then this is the end. So I love this. I hope she loves it. I'm going to be posting this video and, um, Everybody will be able to see what I did for her. Okay, let's see. The random generator. I want to talk about that real quick. I'm starting to feel better today. I do not like, uh, if something's not simple, go click on it. I really have issues with trying to figure things out on the computer. Um, I don't like that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am so close to just putting in everybody's name. Um, the problem I'm having with and pulling it, we're live on camera. The problem I'm having with that is... Uh, I did not know this until recently that you can go see who subscribed, but if we all have our who we subscribe to in private, we won't be able to see it. 
So I'm going to take mine off private so that people that wonder if I subscribe to them or not, they can see it and I can see who subscribed to me. And actually I would have names then uh, to put in the, you know, just a, a folder thing here, you know, pot and pull somebody's name. But unfortunately I can't do that since we're all on private, most of us. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out that random generator thing. As soon as I do, somebody's going to get their, uh, their signature I made that I showed in a video on the YouTube hop. So check that out if you haven't seen it. And so hopefully I'll have that figured out today. I wanted to go ahead and try to do something um, on video with you guys. Uh, Helen Vigil posted a video of her promotion level to uh, tier three in one of the groups I belong to. And um, that's a big, big deal. And somebody had made her present and sent it to her and she was showing it. Well, one of the things that she, that came out of that present was something that looked kind of like this. That it was the style of this. So I, of course, impulsively as I am, I just grabbed a file folder. It's here somewhere in this stack of mess I have here. My, my happy mess. I love this mess. Um, if I didn't have to get this camera perfectly right, I would just, you know, zoom you over. I just ripped off a part of a file folder, you know, just a regular vanilla like this. Oh, here it is. Ha ha, ta-da. I just ripped it off, literally, because I'd already cut it in half for another project, and I just ripped it off and made this, and I decoupaged this on, and I um, decoupaged this on. And I may do more to it. I would like this outside to be a little darker, so I might end up just taking some brown over it because I really wanted to show more of the edges here. But I'm going to do that one here in a minute. I started one, another one, not ripped, just cut. This is a, um, this was a, a six by six square, I think. I was laying in our scrap box and I picked it up. And I'm going to do this one. I'm going to finish it. So I took a hole punch. And I'm not even. I'm bad about that. But I just punch, 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 punch holes. I fed the ribbon through here. And went up around. In the end, I just tied and glued it here. And this here is, um, it's real cute. I don't know if y'all can see that little itty bitty flower. Wherever I'm at on camera. And it's, it's a bookmark. It's for the journal. For the, if anybody uses this actually as a journal and writes in it. I just took some of my paper that I showed you in one of my videos on uh, when I did dyeing and stuff and talked about it. Check that video out if you haven't seen it. And I just ripped up some of those papers. I just, all I do is fold it over, match it up, and, and I take scissors and cut it like out here. And then I open it and I just start ripping until I get the size I want. And that's the size I want. It's going to hang over and that's okay with me. And so I am going to quickly grab Walnut Stain, because I want it to be a little darker, and grab, I usually don't change out the brushes, I'm not going to lie, I'm doing this for y'all. <laughs> I like to have a, um, I'm going to tell you why. I like to have one that I use for everything, because it gives me a blend of colors that isn't going to work for me. I want to do an... I don't like to be perfect at anything. I just want it to be kind of sort of on the edges there. And um, yeah, so let me do this. You know why I like this kind of crafting? Um, I read, I read, I actually read a comment. Somebody was explaining there's two types of crafters, one that's calculated and one that just kind of, and I don't know how she put it, but it does sound super great, but um, that's me. <laughs> the one that didn't sound super great. I don't like to calculate things, and it's because I, it's not my in my nature. I would like it if it's something that I am one of those people. You know, this is, I have to make it, and then if you want to know the measurements, I'll give you approximate, because I am not one that follows directions like that. I look at things, and... If I like it, like I hate watching YouTube at night when I'm going to bed because, and I do it though all the time, because it makes me want to get up and go do the project right now. In my way though, like I don't uh, step by step it exactly how the person did it. Even if they did give exact measurements, it's very rare you'll see me. I, I uh, will, if I need a straight line, I'll grab the ruler, but I don't really use it for measuring too much very rare unless I think I have to 
Then I want to take these, because I thought these would be a little cute to stick a little bird or butterfly or something on, and I just want to randomly put them in here. I don't want them together. And... I did enough to do right there. Okay. And I don't care where they fell. And then I'm going to drag my sewing machine over here. I knew I forgot something, guys. Because I, I want to do this. For, oh, it's not plugged in. It should probably go live when I do this type of video. Um, Let's see here. What did I do with that plug? I have my amazing granddaughter here it is during the week and if she touches things i gotta unplug it i gotta take the needle out i gotta do all that stuff so i'm gonna use the thread that's in here okay um to show you to just for the sake of the video and i'm sure nobody would mind that it's gonna be burgundy thread <laughs> And I'm just going to sew down the middle of the crease haphazardly. I'm not even going to worry about um, if I'm exact or... And I'm going to use my start, 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 stop button because I don't know where my foot pedal is because my granddaughter. Um, let's do this. And I will be right back with you guys on camera. So just, whoa, this beat this up on time. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Sorry about your weight. And now, voila. Looky here. I'm going to just push this down. I might even get, because I put a lot of paper in this little book. And push, 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 push. And here we go. Look at all that paper. This will be a nice little book to throw in your purse or, you know, and there you go. The little, and I love this. You know what I use? I use my Ginger scissors. Ta-da! I love, I use those a lot for this. Not just to cut fabric. And this, uh, how great is that? I'm very pleased with this. And this, you just flip over on whatever page you're on. You know, keep it in there. Okay, so that one's done. Um, I could do this one, but I think I'm going to go ahead and um, not do this since I showed you this one on, on, you know, went ahead and did it here. I am going to, though, show you a couple things. I'm going to use this time wisely and... Oh, not this. This is supposed to be here. This is... My mom drew that. That is uh, my grandson, actually. And these are the, the other video I showed you had the wish stamps. I want to show you how amazing they are. Yes, they do not have mouths. You can, that's just their series, but you can just put a little line with two little on the ends of those lines for smiles. But I wanted to show you the quality of these stamps because a lot of us can't afford the expensive stamps. We only have one forty percent off coupon, even sometimes with sales, it's not in our budget, you know, and I want to help those people that don't have the craft budget, but want to and yearn to. Make sure we're in camera here. Yes, but look, I'm gonna come up a little close. Look at the details in that. That's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm at 18 minutes already, sorry guys. Here we go. Isn't that beautiful? Now 19 minutes, ah! Sometimes I don't, I shouldn't stand up. My mom colored that one in a little bit. But I just wanted to show you that. Um, let me get to my notebook here real quick. I was thinking about doing lives. What do y'all think about doing lives? I, um, I think that maybe that'll be better than having these long videos so you guys can pop in and out. And let's see. Oh, the glass. I am going to do a video on painting glass and my glass uh, decorative jars, which... I am going to grab one. I should have grabbed one already. 
I'm not going to grab one because I'd have to leave the room to do it. We were, I actually had them all out because I'm about to put them on Melody, Melody Made Marketplace. Um, so they're not in this room, but I am going to do another video with that. So I hope I covered everything that I wanted to cover. I hope you enjoyed this little, you know, short tutorial that I did. I was thinking about scheduling a live on Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which I'm in Florida, or Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So if y'all mind or have a, a time that works for you, let me know, because I do have to schedule it, block it, knowing what I'm doing, uh, since I'm doing appointments with my mom and myself now. Uh, it's really important. But I, if I do the lives, of course I want participation, so let me know what works for y'all. I'll, I'll take a vote. And also, one other thing. To make a cover for that signature would be silly of me because it is a single signature for the giveaway. So I don't think I'm gonna make a cover for it. I think I'm gonna let whoever gets it make that cover. Um, I don't feel bad about it um, because I put a lot of stuff in it. I think it's definitely worth a lot and uh, um, it's a very uh, valuable and I love it and I want somebody to have it that loves it. I'm really pleased with the turnout that I'm getting um, for the drawing. So I can't wait to see who gets it, but you will be getting that signature the way it is with few extra goodies that you actually did not see um, in that video. Probably about four things, four or five things that you did not see in that video. So I can't wait to figure out this um, random generator. Y'all have an amazing day. You deserve it. Thank you for tuning in.